Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Betting Truth, and today I'm going to do something I don't think I've ever done on this channel, and that's react to comments I get on my YouTube videos, mainly because I went a pretty long time without actually reading them, but I start to read them again every now and then, and I found a comment from user STIL370 who said, I read your profile. Um, when was the last time you gave us any good advice about sports wagering? Honestly, I can't recall you doing that. I know this guy is just one of your typical YouTube comment section pot stirs and hornet nest kickers. So honestly, I really don't care. I'm not offended in any way. I'm not going to get defensive about what he says, but it, it's a good time to remind everybody because I've gotten a lot of new subscribers ever since I started doing these uh, reaction videos over the past few months. I mean, I've had larger jumps in subscribers and views over the past two or three months. Uh, probably ever on this channel. So I have a lot of new viewers who might not understand what the purpose of sports betting truth and my sports betting videos are. My videos are not intended to give you advice to help you win because if I did that, I would just be one of the many thousands on YouTubes and other social media that does that, who make videos that say, do this and you will win, or buy my picks and you will win, or follow my picks and you will win. Every other sports betting channel or Instagram or Twitter page out there does that. They all act like they are the messiah of sports betting. If you just watch their videos and listen to them, you will win. And in order to differentiate myself from other people on the internet when it comes to sports betting, I do it different. I don't make any videos that say, do this and you will win. I don't do that. So obviously the logical question is going to be, then why should I watch your videos if you're not going to help me win? Because here's the cold, hard truth. The other people who tell you, do this and you will win, if you follow their advice, trust me, you're probably not going to win, okay? So what would you rather do? Be lied to by all the other people who say, do this and you will win? Would you rather be lied to and follow their advice and try to do what they do and lose and keep losing and double down on following their advice and keep losing and wondering what the heck is going on? Or would you rather listen to someone like me who's straight and upfront about the fact that winning at sports betting is very hard, very, very hard. It takes a lot of work just to have a chance. And chances are you might put in all this work and still not be successful. So would you rather go into betting on sports knowing the reality of the situation and knowing you're probably going to lose? Or would you rather go into sports betting thinking you had the secret sauce to make it all happen. What would you rather do? And so that's the point of my videos. I'm not here to give you good advice about sport wagering. I'm, get, I'm here to give you the truth, the truth, the reality of sports betting. To put it simply, I don't want you to ruin your life over sports betting. I don't want you to destroy your finances and become a problem gambler and become addicted to sports betting and have all your money circle the drain. That's what I want. That's my goal. If I can keep all the people who watch my videos from ruining their finances over sports betting, then I succeeded. I don't really care if I help you win or not because chances are you're not going to. And I've made advice uh, videos in the past saying, do these things and you could win, but that's a lot different than do these things and you will win. For example, all those videos I made when this channel first started about tutorials and stuff like that about models and everything. All that stuff was good advice and information to put you on a path that could allow you to be in that very, very, very small percentage of people who do win at sports betting, but it was no guarantee. Chances are, even if you followed all my advice and modeling videos and everything, you still lost, but at least it would give you a ch greater than 0.00% chance, maybe like an 0.01% chance. It's still greater than zero. But that's really why I'm here and why I make these videos. I've seen a lot of people in my day have their lives ruined over gambling. I don't want you to become another. That's why my videos exist. I'm here to prevent you from ruining your life, ruining your finances, losing money you shouldn't be losing. I'm just here to give you the reality of the situation because with sports betting becoming more and more legalized and normalized in the United States, that means you have a lot more grifters out there and a lot more marketing campaigns affiliated with these legal sports books uh, trying to pump into your mind and condition you to believe that winning at sports betting is easy, anybody can do it, blah, blah, blah. When that's not true, I'm here to prevent you from ruining your life. So... That's my mission. That's my goal. That's why I make these videos. 
So if you want advice on how to win at sports betting, there's thousands of other channels out there that all claim they can do that for you. Go ahead and follow their advice, see how it works out for you. And then after uh, you realize it was, you've been sold a bunch of snake oil, come back here to my channel, get the reality of sports betting, and then bet on sports knowing the truth about sports betting. That is very hard, very hard to pull off. And if you want to continue, then at least you know what you're getting yourself into. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video of Sports Betting Truth. Don't ruin your life, guys. Be very careful when it comes to sports betting. Uh, by the way, look at this clown. TCU embarrassing, them, embarrassing themselves against Georgia in national championship game. That guy's double chin disgusts me. So maybe instead of making fun of TCU uh, football, he should uh, go hit the treadmill or something. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. You've been watching Sports Betting Truth.